Okay, this is the uh, second attempt at my second video. I had a, <laughs> had a bit of a problem there uh, with the shaky cam. Uh, anyways, same t-shirt, same cup of coffee. How much time did it elapse? Uh, basically, it's enough to uh, upload the first part of this video onto YouTube and uh, Twitter. And... Uh, Anyways, we'll move on from where we were. We ended. We did the Oxys through the DCs. <coughs> now we do the IDW through Valiant. Same week. Uh, anyways, this is Judge Dredd. This is the final issue of um, the Blessed Earth, which continued from the Cursed Earth, and a couple of one shots. Um, in this uh, reality. Uh, Mega City One is uh, is gone, and uh, Judge Dreth, Judge Dread is wandering the wilds, trying to find out uh, what happened, um, and also trying to find out if he is going to die, uh, or if he is in fact Judge Dread. Um, what's going to happen with the girls? What's going to happen with the children of uh, the grass? And uh, why is Judge Anderson being such a bitch? And we'll see where we go from here. Uh, pretty interesting. I'm sure you can probably able to pick this up in a, a trade paperback. Uh, this is issue number eight, so I'm gonna just gonna throw it all in, into uh, one trade trade paperback, and we'll check it out. Uh, really good. Uh, I, I, I'm a sucker for Judge Dredd, and I'm really glad that uh, Mega City uh, One, uh, I guess is the name of the title, is going to be. Uh, TV series, I was it Netflix, I think, or or one of those uh, places, Amazon Prime. Um, I'm psyched. Um, I'm hoping uh, they bring Keith Urban back, even if not as a regular, uh, to make you know like some appearances as Judge Dredd, just to keep it in the same continuity and go from there. Uh, okay, well, then we're skipping over to Image, and we got Redneck number nine. Uh, about as I've said before. Rednecks who are vampires. Uh, really a uh, good story. Uh, Dan, um, Donnie Cates is doing a fabulous job uh, with this book. You really care about the family. Um, even though they might not be the nicest guys, they, they still um, do care for each other. And, and uh, that's what this whole story is about. Is uh, What is family? Well, what... What ties do you have? Um, and uh, can you trust um, trust everyone, anyone, whether they're human or undead? Um, really good. So uh, check it out. Uh, the first, uh, I believe the first six issues are already out in trade paperback. So uh, pick up those. And if you don't like it, um, unsubscribe. Okay. Pacific Rim. This was a surprise. I didn't realize this coming out. This is Aftermath. It's from Legendary Comics. Legendary is also doing um, a Kong of Skull Island comic, too, I believe. Um, this is this is pretty cool. Um, we end up with the movie coming out. Uh, I think it's a smart move. Um, not only in the beginning, we find out uh, whatever happened to the, uh, the, the Kaiga pilots. Um, after the war was declared, uh, and then they're, you're a hero. And does everybody, does anybody remember that you were a hero? Um, does a lot. Uh, I think you could read a lot of politics um, into it. Uh, this is what uh, returning veterans probably feel. Um, and uh, go through some of that. And. Uh, I'm a vet, and I uh, have friends who are vets, some of whom have uh, much more horrific um, things uh, to recall or forget. But anyways, um, I digress. Anyways, it's, 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 it's really good. I, I, I highly recommend it. I um, can't remember the author. Um, Kevin Scott uh, does the, writes, the, writes both uh, parts of it. Um, and Richard Elson uh, is the, uh, the artist on the first part. Uh, the shorter part, um, the first part's called Aftermath, and that's about the, uh, the vet pilot and uh, what his life is like, or what could be like. 
Um, I Am Pentecost is um, also by uh, Kevin Scott, the uh, Benny LaBelle um, is the artist on that. And um, if you remember the first film, the name Pentecost might be familiar. And uh, this shortest story, at least the first, uh, first part, is about his son. Is that fabulous or what? John Boyega, who even gets a special thanks um, here in the here in the book. I, I'm I'm totally psyched. Um, anyways, uh, so this sort of leads up to what when your father was a hero. Uh, and you do have something to live up to. Can you do that? And I'm thinking between the comic and the upcoming film, we might find out. Um, really psyched. Okay, dragging along. Um, I was, as I said last time, I was in Vegas um, last week, so I didn't pick up any comics. Um, so I'm a couple weeks behind. <coughs> so I picked up both issue number three and issue number four. Of No Surrender, which is the big um, Avengers event, uh, basically combining all however many Avenger teams there are with covert Avengers, U.S. Avengers, um, the uh, Roselle, New Jersey Avengers, um, and the, the Cleveland Avengers, uh, or whoever they are. Um, <coughs> anyways, um, uh, Earth has been uh, taken out of uh, out of orbit and is being used as a, as a playground uh, for uh, all the characters. And it's funny because I was just watching an episode of uh, Rick and Morty where the Earth is, is taken out of orbit and uh, becomes part of a, uh, a music. Uh, competition, you know, um, intergalactic idols, um, <laughs> if you were, and uh, I think that half hour is, is more entertaining this than uh, the, uh, the the twelve issues of this. Although uh, Mark Wade is a really good writer, and I, I, I'm enjoying. I'm, I actually am enjoying <coughs> the series so far. I don't know where they're going to go with it. Um, and uh, what's the deal with uh, what's the deal with Voyager? Um, isn't she basically Sentry? Wasn't that the whole thing of, of Sentry, um, where um, he, I guess, he'd been like a, a founder with Avengers and like a primary um, um, a character in all the early Marvel tales that we didn't know about. And he returns, and no one remembered him. And this seems to be the same conceit for this character Voyager, that she was the founding Avengers and everything, and suddenly she comes back. And um, I don't know. I I wonder if perhaps um, she's kind of a stand-in for um, the Captain Marvel that we're going to be seeing in the. Uh, the MCU, um, where there was a character who uh, was apparently uh, active back in the 80s and uh, disappeared and suddenly comes back. So uh, we'll see. Um, it's, it's not bad, uh, but uh, it's certainly better than that horrific uh, metals uh, Fiasco that DC is uh, putting out, and uh, what, what, what a freaking joke. Okay, uh, continuing with Marvel in the Avengers, we have Avengers Infinity War Prelude, um, and uh, you pretty much guess that's that's the the, the poster. Uh, you see the uh, the Guardians are there. You see Thor, Loki, um, the Hulk. Uh, Iron Spider, uh, Winter Soldier, Black uh, Panther, um, Iron Man, um, 
You know, whenever I see um, Black Widow in the, that blonde wig, it, it, it throws me. I was actually going to say, ooh, it's Sue Storm. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, it looks good. I mean, we'll see what goes on. <coughs> I don't know if this is a one shot. Uh, oh, one of two. My bad. May if I read some of this stuff beforehand. Um, anyways, let's start uh, try to wrap this up. From Oni Press, we have Rick and Morty. Um, oh my god, I love that show um, so much. Um, the comics, the, the as as with the the Simpsons uh, uh, books, um, uh, the writers try. Oh my god, I'm sorry. You would think after all this coffee. But anyway, um, I lost my train of thought. Um, the, the writers try their best, uh, as, just as with the like the Boom comics from, from uh, um, with Simpsons. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. Uh, they do try to capture the flavor. Um, the characters are all seem to be on point, and uh, I'm enjoying it. I recommend the series and recommend the comic. And finally, we have Exo Man of War. This is issue number 11. Um, Exo, or Eric, is now Emperor of the planet. And uh, just because you're a hero and you brought all, everyone together doesn't mean that you're still the most popular guy uh, on the planet. And uh, things are going wrong, uh, and it uh, looks like people are trying to... Obviously, once you, once you have power, there's going to be someone who wants you out. And I'm looking forward... Uh, this has really been good, and um, as uh, has been mentioned in other places, uh, you know, Valiant is going to be uh, creating their own universe. They have, like a, I think it's a five-film deal. Uh, there's going to be uh, there's a web... Uh, uh, thing called um, Ninjak versus the Valiant Universe, uh, and uh, it looks pretty cool. I've only seen like teasers and some costumes, and there's been some featurettes uh, showing uh, Deathlock and um, uh, some other characters, um, <coughs> and uh, anyways, um, Michael Rowe. Uh, who uh, some of you may remember from uh, being uh, Deadshot in Arrow is going to be Ninjak in this one, and uh, it looks pretty cool. Um, I got high hopes for that. Um, so uh, that's good. that's a comic already, and it's going to be uh, like I said, uh, a web series, and then eventually uh, movies. I think it's. I think it's Netflix. I, I get confused. Uh, so many uh, places now um, that are putting stuff out. But it's going to be good uh, to see something besides the, the Marvel or in, in DC characters um, actually out there. Um, you know, fingers crossed. We'll see what goes on. And that's it for me. Uh, and hopefully uh, this won't be too long to post. I'll try to do some reviews, although I've said that before. I never get around to them. And uh, I'll try to see you uh, next Wednesday. Same time, same channel. Peace out, Mother Fs.